Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm talking about dogs that have ear hematomas. What happens, guys, is the pin of the floppy part of the ear just fills up with blood, and it's really heavy, and it hangs down, and it hurts, and it's hot, and the dog's un uncomfortable. And it can just show up overnight, like quickly. Ear hematomas are usually happening when dogs have ear infections, or they're shaking their head a lot and causing trauma to the blood vessels in the pinna of the ear. And if this happens to your dog, you should definitely go see a veterinarian. Any veterinarian is going to look at it and go, it's an ear hematoma. Now, what are they going to do about it? Ear hematomas, guys, can be treated in a handful of different ways. One, ear hematomas can be treated by surgery. So a veterinarian would sedate your doggy. They would drain the ear. Either they have like a cut, like a linear cut and drain it out. Or they could do like a little cannula and like pop that in there and drain it out. And those are great options. And then after they do that, they may suture the ear down. So they may suture it so it can't refill. And suturing is a great option, but after they suture it, they also need to secure the ear to the head. There's a handful of different like bandages and wraps you can do, but draining it, suturing it, and securing it is key for success. Now, if we don't want to be as aggressive as that, and let's say it's smaller or it's not very painful, and we don't want to be crazy aggressive, but let's say also we have a nasty ear infection, and you don't want to be cutting an ear open that's just covered in grossness as well or infection. What a veterinary might do is they might clean the ear and medicate the ear, and they may also put your dog on some steroids. Sometimes oral steroids can be very effective at reducing inflammation, and a veterinarian may also take a needle and poke the ear, pull the blood out, and then inject a steroid into the ear. So a veterinarian could do an interlesional or into the ear steroid and do an oral steroid and then treat the ear infection if there is one. And by doing that, they're medically managing it instead of cutting it. Both of them need to be rechecked because the cutting one could get infected or you could have complications from the surgery. And the medical one, it may not completely resolve. And it, if it doesn't resolve, guys, you're forced going to surgery. Both options are fine. Both options are appropriate. You should just do one. Sitting there and watching it is not a good option. It's not going to go away. It's going to cold flower down. It's going to be painful. It's going to linger for weeks or months, and it's going to be rough on the doggy. The quicker you act, the less scar tissue, the less fibrin you're going to have in there. Once you get it fixed, you're going to have a better result if you do it early. Air hematomas are common. They are not scary, and they can be fixed in most cases just by a general practitioner like myself. As always, guys, I'm Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and your doggies are too. Take care. Bye.